Yeah, just uh, just run your, your demo and then I have a couple yeah. of questions if it's fine with you. Okay. Yeah, okay. So Alrighty, let's get started. So what would we present here is uh, LTE as one future technology for next generation mobile network. So there that is currently the 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 best uh, solution for, LTE, for for next generation mobile network because it fulfills the requirements of the NGMN alliance uh, regarding a next generation mobile network most. So, and we are showing it here, the possibilities and capabilities with, with LTE. Therefore, we had have uh, all in all three e node Bs, that is, that is the base station for, for LTE. We have two in Bonn, one is at the T-Mobile headquarter and one is at the T-Home headquarter. And they are covering the South Highway Bridge in Bonn, and so that we can really show mobility. Therefore, we had equipped the van with the HD cam. You see here, and uh, they are driving rounds uh, to really show mobility with a with the L within the LTE network. It means 100 kilometers per hour, and means also a handover, which is important for mobility for sure. Is he driving around at this moment? Or He's driving. That is really live. That is oh, a uh, really a live transmission. So you have someone driving the whole day? <laughs> yes, we have. We have two guys uh, to say. Could you mal kurz unsere Kamera bewegen? So. We can also remotely control their cam, yeah. So to have a look in the back. So there, you see, today is carnival starting. So uh, this is now uh, live uh, IPTV we have in the van. So, so they are going now for a ride for really show this mobility uh, and to show the handover. So this is really really live, yeah. So while they are starting to to uh, go for the ride. We uh, can show here also uh, uh, LTE. We have built up here also in Barcelona one one E-Node B. Uh, you see the antenna there. Right. And the partner is uh, Nortel. The part right partner now. here is Nortel. Currently. Yes. That's yes. that's right. But it's no future decision. It's just sure. for this showcase. Yeah. Uh, even LTE is uh, until now we have not taken the decision to go with LTE or with with uh, other technology. Why Max? Uh, uh, for a next generation mobile network. We will go with to with a ne to a next generation mobile network, but it's not necessarily LTE. Yeah. Yeah. What is the time plan uh, roughly for QC? So uh, roughly is uh, end 2010, beginning end of 2011, 2000. we will start with a, with a next generation mobile network. Um, that's that's a little bit late due to the availability of small devices, of, of smartphones and phones it, itself for for LTE or multi-mode uh, uh, devices, which support needs to support LTE and 2G or 3G, or both and or. Yeah. So you will definitely run all uh, the networks uh, parallel. Uh, so we, at the, the beginning, for sure. For example, yes. uh, That's not possible because yeah. um, LTE will not cover the whole 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 countries at the beginning. So we need to operate it at least at the beginning uh, parallel. Okay. So, yeah, just they are going dry, entering now the highway. So, in a couple of seconds, they will reach also the handover point. So, yeah, maybe have a look. Okay. Often you see this sign packet loss. That is uh, not just because of LTE. Uh, that is because this cam is connected to the internet directly, and only the other side is mobile. And uh, we cannot uh, achieve the data rate partly we need. So there are sometimes packet loss within the internet. That's not because of LTE. Yeah, that's really the internet itself. What uh, upstream and downstream uh, speeds are we demonstrating? Let's have a look first at the handover. Afterwards, we pre I I'd like to present you this, this data rate. Yeah? So they are shortly before the handover now. So it will be finished somewhere outside of Darmstadt or so? Or in, in Bonn, that's in Bonn. Bonn. In Bonn. That is yeah, the South Bridge in Bonn. That's uh, near the inner city. So when we reach this uh, the, the train station on the left side you will see it, then the handover is already done. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that was the handover just. Short packet loss, that's it currently. And that's just because we have not finally optimized the handover. Normally, uh, that's something else. Normally, we have uh, covered this bridge with three uh, node bees from from UMTS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we have 
to keep it in a, a keep it simple, we have done it with two E-node Bs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are operating there with 2.1 gigahertz and 10 megahertz bandwidth, and that is the first limitation. We have only 10 megahertz bandwidth and the two times two MIMO. A commercial system will have 20 megahertz bandwidth and uh, two times four or uh, four times four MIMO. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. Now we can go for, for the data rate we can currently achieve again. And the ter terminal uh, is uh, from LG right now? The right? terminal is right now from LG, okay. that's correct. So uh, the data rate we can achieve again, only 10 megahertz bandwidth, you need to, yeah. to have it in, in mind, and only uh, 2 times 2 MIMO. Yeah. So therefore I transfer 120 megabytes from a server we had built up here in Barcelona to our laptop here. And here you can see the data rate we can achieve. It is nearly 60 megabits per second currently. Yeah, and quite stable. So you see, it, it's proceeding, and it is a couple of seconds it is already done. Yeah, that's so a very nice uh, demo display. Well done. Thank you. So that was just the downlink. Uh, also, the uplink is important, so therefore, I transfer from our laptop to the server here in Barcelona 60 megabytes. So, and you see, we are reaching 20 normally, 20 megabits per second. Uh, and it's going up and it's really fast. Yeah. So, like a